Hey, it's Haley, and I am back with another tech tip. Um, this is one that I've always had a problem with, and I didn't know there was a solution for it until I just came across one. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, if you're ever, if you've ever worked in a Word document and you're in the normal portrait style, um, but you have something that you want to add to a page, maybe it's a picture or a chart, and you just want to add a landscape page in there instead of having to add it to a portrait and then turn it sideways so that it will fit. Um, I found a fix to where you can add a landscape page inside of a portrait document. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm at the end of my document, which is where I want to add a landscape page. Right now I'm in portrait. Um, so to do, to add that page, you go up to the very top and you can't, I don't think you can see my toolbar, um, but you click on insert. It's up there with file edit view. You click insert, break, and then you go to section break and it will say next page. Okay, so it automatically puts your cursor down on the next page and then this is where you get to tell it, you know, hey, I want this page to be landscape. Um, so if you go up here, you can see this menu, home, layout, document elements. Under layout, you can select orientation. And I chose landscape. And so do you see what it did? It made this page a landscape page. So now I can bring my chart in that's too wide to fit on a portrait and add it to landscape. Okay, and if I need to go back to see if I need to go back to um, portrait so I hit enter and you see how it automatically keeps it as a landscape because that's what the page before it was um, you go to the end of the page so not down here but right up here right at the um, very end of your landscape page and to get back to portrait you do that same thing again so you insert break section break next page and it's gonna add your section and it added a landscape because that's what the one before it was but we want it to go back to portrait so you choose orientation and portrait and then now you're back in portrait and you can continue typing whatever and then whenever you're ready for the landscape you just repeat that same thing again okay um, there's one other trick I want to show you do you see how whenever I moved this image in and if I try to move it, I want to move it more to the center, or if I try to resize it, it stays with this margin, and you can't really move it around. Um, the fix for that, and there may be a better one, but this is what I've always done. Um, you can click on the picture, and I right-click on it, and I go down to Format Picture, and then I go over to Layout, and if you just choose anything else other than what's chosen, then you can move it around. You can even stretch it, resize it, move it all the way to the very edge of the page. But that gives you a little bit more freedom to um, kind of scale it and um, edit it, move it around. Uh, but I don't know why that works, but it's just a right click, format picture and then change it to something else. Um, and then you click OK and then all of a sudden you can now move it around and scale and resize it. Okay, so those are two Microsoft Word tech tips. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or email me and I'll try my best to answer. I don't think that these work in Google Docs, just Microsoft Word, but it does work in Microsoft Word and like on a PC and also on a Mac, as long as your Mac is running Word. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a great day.